the YouTube. Uh, just want to do a quick, um, not really review, but just uh, warning, to be honest, about the Neatworks for Mac. Um, I've seen the promotional materials, I've seen all the short videos online, all the supposed reviews online, um, and they all keep braving on about it and say it's a fantastic piece of software. And on the surface, I, I agree. I mean, I'm, this is great at managing receipts. I mean, I can click on... Um, hold on. I can click on Browse and I can sort of find... Uh, receipts by category, I can find receipts by payment type, I can find receipts by date, item type, it's just uh, so much uh, information is kept about the receipts, I mean anything else like Evernote or Yep or you know all the other uh, document or um, file management software solutions just, just don't compare when it comes to receipts um, and this obviously does documents and contacts too, it's fantastic Okay, but the problem starts here. Okay, so say if I uh, open Finder. Okay, I click on Dropbox scans. This is just random scanned files. I haven't organized them yet. So, so I select some some files and I just, uh, just reduce the window size. Okay, I just drag them. No, I can't drag them there. Hold on, let me just get rid of the table. Here we go. Okay, so now that I have the table, I can just take those files, drag them in here. Okay, brilliant. So it says importing two out of 83. Now, let's try using a software while that's happening. So say if I click on uh, a receipt, or no, okay, that's, oh, hold on, where did it go? Uh, that's a recurring theme while you're working on something, the receipt can just disappear from under you. Now, I understand it's importing, so, you know, fair enough, I can leave it alone, let that work. Um, and just, f just for the record, it's actually taken 25% uh, of my CPU at the moment uh, which is quite silly. I mean, surely it should be able to to process four receipts at a time on you know the quad core I'm using. Um, but okay, that's a small point. The biggest point is that while while this is happening, uh, I've actually tried to drag in a folder of over a thousand receipts and left it alone. I didn't want to touch it. I didn't want to you know just interfere with the with, with the importing process. Uh, I came back forty minutes later and the application has crashed. Now. You might think, you know, coincidence or, you know, these things happen, but here we go. It's crashed again. Okay, uh, this is very easy to reproduce. This happens all the time. This happens even while you're importing one receipt at a time. You, you've imported a receipt, start categorizing it, bam, it's crashed. You have to look for that receipt again, delete it or re-import it or, you know, because you might not find it again and, you know, you're going to have two receipts. So... <laughs> It's just not great. Now, the problem with that is two years ago, I filed all these bug reports and you appear to have done nothing. So, <laughs> great. Uh, another thing is I've actually bought uh, the portable desktop, uh, not the desktop, the portable uh, little USB bus powered scanner. Uh, and that broke after about a year hang on someone's calling me call them back um, so yeah so the hardware is not very reliable you can you get much better hardware from Fujitsu and the software is extremely unstable and my, my last problem with the software is uh, okay so after you've done all the hard work of filling everything in and you have to fill everything in because it it, it doesn't detect anything. I've, I've I've rarely seen it detect even a single field correctly. Uh, maybe it's because in the UK receipts are a little bit different, you know, but from what I could tell in reviews, it's it's not fantastic at actually uh, detecting everything. But that's, I mean, I haven't seen anything to date that is, so, you know, I'll, I'll forgive that. Uh, but for instance here, it has this figure of 8,466 where did he get that figure? Uh, 8,000? No, that's not it. Uh, what, where did he get that figure? It's 20.02, obviously. So, I don't know, maybe you're watching this video and you're thinking, there, that's where he got this figure. I can't, I can't really tell. I, I don't know where he got the sales tax. I don't know where... It, this, this just seems... Gap? How's it Gap? It's BP. Where did he get... Okay, what for Gap North? 
okay. Uh, anyway, you're going to have to go through everything and, and fill everything in. And the problem with that is after all that hard work, uh, I'm going to show you quickly uh, how I organize things in Yip, which is far from ideal. It's not really designed for, you know, for this kind of work. Uh, but here's, here's just, I've, I've exported some neat files. In fact, I've just copied them directly. I didn't even export them. Uh, so this is just, just the PDFs that, that neat, that, uh, neat, neat work stored. Uh, so let's have a look. I mean, if, if it's supposed to have all the metadata that you've, that you filled in, but there's no description, there's no tags, there's, there's no, there's nothing. So, you know, all, all that hard work that you've put in, uh, organizing, <clears throat> all those documents uh it's stored in a proprietary database and you know if need to go out of business or you know for any reason decide not to support the mac any anymore or uh stop having you know an upgrade path for for the database that you're using you know that there's there's just so many different scenarios where uh you will no longer be able to access that proprietary database i mean for instance they decide to charge for upgrades i mean it, it can be anything uh so you pretty much stuck with them and you, you just have this uh, this this long unique number and and that's it so if the taxman comes along six years from now and says show me receipts from five years ago uh you stuffed you're gonna start you're gonna get fines or you're gonna have to sit there for days looking through you know tens of thousands of documents uh so it, it's less from ideal I, I i don't think i can really give that much trust to, to this piece of software that doesn't even work properly it keeps crashing and and there's all kinds of problems okay so uh let me show you how how i do it now uh, which is far from ideal but it, it, it works for me okay so for instance um this is my company fusetech or one of my companies so i have quite a few receipts so if i go into accounts okay that's that's the accounting year Okay, so every year uh, I kind of have its own I have its own folder for for every year that that makes sense to me because at the end of the year uh, that's the that's the period filed with the government so I don't want it in, I don't want it mixed with with anything else so say if I click on uh, you know this this accounting year okay so so these are the expenses these are like government letters uh, HSBC statements etc so if I click on expenses these are my receipts basically okay so here I have capital assets food fuel etc so going back to the main folder what's happened there Hold on. by the way also yep is not fantastically stable uh, as well because it's supposed to show me account of all the documents but it doesn't go figure anyway but it, it works for for the most part uh, so here for instance if I'm interested in uh, fuel click on fuel it actually lets me choose um, if I want diesel or, or unleaded fuel, if I want Shell or SO or BP or anything else. I haven't actually had any unleaded fuel for th this year, so but last year it would show unleaded as well because I switched to a diesel car. Um, okay, so th this is very useful and all this metadata is kept in the PDF file. So if, if you yep, go out of business and I can't use it anymore, uh, I still have all the files, I can still use everything and the file name gives me the date, the amount, the card has been paid with, if it's a VAT receipt and you know what what's in the receipt. So I can quite quickly even use Spotlight to, to, to find most things. Uh, it's not as ideal as a neat receipt, you can just browse by category or by payment type, you know, that's fantastic. I really wish it would store this information in the PDF, allow you some kind of logical uh, directory export uh, you know, not crash all the time. It's, it's, it would be great. Uh, I'm really impressed with with how much you know thought has been has been put into to this software. But unfortunately, it doesn't work. I mean, it might work on Windows, probably does, because you know there's great reviews and there's quite a lot of information. But on the Mac, it just does not work. I'm sorry, it does not work. I mean, yet need works. Need to fix this. Need need co need to fix this. Um, okay, and another cool thing, which I don't believe you can do in Neat. So if I click, if I look at, uh, can you add location? I think you can. Yeah, well, you can add location, which is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, I have sort of the same thing um, <coughs> in Yep. So if I click on, if I go to, go to materials, for instance, get rid of the fuel filter. Um, 
Okay, so say if I'm interested in just B&Q, which is a hardware store here. Uh, okay, there's all my receipts from B&Q. I can actually go ahead and, and see if I, all the receipts from Sitcalf, all the receipts from Greenwich. Uh, for those not in the UK, that's areas in uh, in London or around London. Okay, so click on Greenwich. That shows me all the B&Q receipts from Greenwich. So there's quite a lot of power with these tag system. Uh, it's not as great as actually having named fields. Hold on. But, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, that sort of gives you an idea of what you can do, what is possible. Um, okay, so yeah, that that's what I'm using at the moment. It's far from ideal, but you know, it does it. It, it actually, you know, going forward, six years from now, I can jump back to any of these files and and be able to, for the love of God, and be able to actually, you know, use all this. Um, whereas Neatco, six years from now. Who knows? I mean, the scanner broke. Uh, I don't know if the software is going to be uh, usable, reliable, or require some licensing, or you know, create have a new database. I think they're releasing Neat Desk now. I don't know if that's going to be compatible. And you know, I just don't have great confidence in uh, in their technical capabilities. Um, okay, well, that's all for me. Thank you for watching, and I hope Neatco sees this video. Maybe you know make some effort into making this more usable and puts more more thought into you know keeping this this metadata some in, in some fashion uh in in the pdf itself so that people can potentially maybe just 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 look through the description and find things like category colon space you know the category so they can search for things that way so yeah i mean i really hope they they do something about this um all right, okay. Again, thanks for watching. Um, bye.